Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. As you can see, we got a little bit of a special edition here. Um, this one will be Joey Saldana's 2010 uh, Casey Kane Racing Budweiser Sprint Car. Um, I also threw in Kane's throwback car here because it's kind of what the scheme was based on. And then the box is behind it. So just kind of showing off this kind of neat set to have. Uh, I really like it. Um, probably one of my favorite sprint cars. Um, I also like one of the Darren Pittman ones and Brad Sweets. There's a couple, but this this is definitely up there uh, as one of the better looking ones. So um, we'll go ahead and get into the details here. This one's always going to be fun because I love doing the sprint cars. So we'll get into that. But um, first things first, we'll take a look here at the box. Um, so the box here, we've got Budweiser, King of Beers. And then we got Saldana on there as well. Uh, I'm going to grab a box here so I can get this a little higher up in the air. We can see it a little bit better, I think. Or at least I can get a better view of it. And you can see I'm kind of backed off. There's no lights in here right now. I've got the lights off. Oh, uh, there you can see Bud King of Beers, Budweiser. There we got number nine. Over here, we end up with our details one of 456, scale 118th. Um, that's kind of it. I mean, really, not a ton else to see on this box here um it is made by um r and r um they unfortunately will not be making these uh anymore which is too bad i really just started getting into these and really liking them but um they're made actually in fenton uh, missouri so made in america kind of cool um uh, and this is the 50th anniversary of the knoxville nationals they had this one for so um anyway let's get on down to the two die casts that are here uh, first one I'll just kind of roll through quick. I've already done a review on this, so if you haven't seen it, it is Casey Kane's 2010 Elite um, Daryl Waltrip throwback. Ran at, um, I believe it was Richmond. Um, I'd love to get this signed by the two of them. Kind of a neat car. Uh, but anyway, yep, this ran in 2010, um, and I got the Elite of it uh, later. I got the originally the ARC, and then I was able to get the Elite out of it, so... Uh, but that's what that is, and then we'll take a look at the cool one. I, I say the cool one, but it's um, there, there's there's a lot of different ones that could be considered the cool one. That one's just my favorite. So um, let's see here. I'm going to want to prop this up a little bit taller on the tripod here, um, so I may have to grab a quick box or something to set this on just to give it a little extra height. Um, because with the sprint car, yep, see, see, it's not tall enough. That's what I was afraid of. Um, I have to get something to set it on. So I'm using a tripod that's really, really bad. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I don't like it. Um, but I'm making do. So, all right, let's take a look at this here. So, um, as you can see here, we do have, um, all the sponsors, or a lot of the same sponsors of what's on Kane's car. Um, we have Fritos, we got Budweiser, obviously, Sage Fruit, that is a um, Casey Kane Racing, the Sprint Car Team uh, sponsor, um, Team ASC, that's also on there, um, kind of on their Sprint Cars only. Um, <clears throat> as far as the rest of these sponsors, we got Goodyear, which I think this is the only Sprint Car I have with Goodyear's on it. Every other one has Hoosier tires, um, because as Tony Stewart would say, Goodyear can't make a tire. <laughs> um, but then... Um, Let's see here. We got Lucas, Factory Kane, Remington, Freightliner. What does that one say? Hating Performance. So those are the kind of the main sponsors that I that I can see here. We can flip it over to the right side and we'll take a look and see if there's any others over there. Uh, looks like they're pretty much the same. So um, same sponsors over here on this side. Now we'll get into the diecast itself. So let's start at the front. We got Team ASA on the front wing. Uh, you can see the two shocks there. We got the tires on the front. Steering is nice and tight on this one. That's always a good thing. Um, front wing is mounted in all four spots. Sometimes they don't line up straight and they're not lined up right. This one is, uh, which is nice. And so is the top wing. This is actually one of the more solid diecasts I've gotten. But we are going to pop this wing off. So we can take a look at it. So this is the top wing. We got Budweiser, um, Budweiser on the back here as well. This is the, the obviously what mounts the wing. And then uh, on this side we got Budweiser number nine. I love that that font number nine. This is one of my favorite fonts. I absolutely would love to see uh, Chase Elliott run this font just a couple times. This is a really cool font, especially for Napa with them sponsoring the 49 and the nine. 
this would be really, really, really cool. Um, anyway, then we got Budweiser up here on the top of the wing, and then Saldana and Oakley on the uh, front of the wing for the name. This is kind of neat when they w put the names on the front of the uh, wing like that. I just, I love it. Um, they've done it on sprint cars for a while, but I just think that's really cool. Um, so yeah, that's our top wing sponsors and whatnot there. Um, then we'll go ahead and get down into here. We've got uh, the seat, the steering wheel uh, in there as well. We got the Goodyear Eagles on there. Um, got some sponsors along here. Uh, chassis logo up there. Pull the hood off. We can see uh, the engine detail in here. We got some hoses and wires. We got the radiator up front there. We'll move it to the right side. There you can see the header pipes coming or the the tailpipes coming out or. Technically, they're still header pipes because they come right out of the headers. So, I mean, yeah, you call it what you want. But then um, we do have the radiator up at the front there. Um, detail's really good on these. I really like these 118 scales. Um, then we got the driver's side protection here. Um, and then, obviously, when you put the hood back on, it says Budweiser all the way across. There you go. Lines up real nice. Looks good. Got number nine on the gas tank here. Um, this one does not have any caps on them, uh, as far as dirt caps or anything like that. Um, I don't know if there's really anything else to see detail-wise. If you look underneath, it's DIN 279 or serial number 279. I don't know if they do DIN, I don't, DI, you know, DIN identification numbers. Um, oh, oh, just popped off. I was trying to look underneath there. Um, there we go. Um, but yeah, this is um, this is definitely one of the coolest sprint cars. Um, that I absolutely have been wanting to get for a long, long time. I really like this sprint car. Um, it, part of it is I, I, I loved this number nine font. And, um, so that's obviously a, a big part of it. But then I also really, really liked the, um, the, the throwback scheme. It, it does work really well. I mean, look at the color on this. It's a good red, white, and black car. I mean, just a good looking car. Good Year Eagles on it. That's kind of unique. So there's a lot of things that make this car really unique. And in my opinion, it's, it's definitely one of my favorite sprint cars. So, um, anyway, that will pretty much wrap it up for me. I'm going to probably put that at an angle so we can get a good look at it, but, um, that'll pretty much wrap it up for me. Turn it that way. Um, Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts on the, the 118 Sprint cars. I got a few more of them that'll be coming. Can't wait to show them off, but um, that'll pretty much wrap it up, as I said before. So, um, Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Stay tuned for more uh, diecast reviews. They're going to keep on coming out. Stay tuned to the eBay page. You will not see this on there anytime soon, but there will be some things that are getting moved over there, um, so keep checking that out um, and then uh, take a look at what's on there. I have been... Uh, moving some prices down. So if there's something you're interested in and you're, um, if the price is high, let me know. Shoot me a message. I'm always willing to drop it down a little bit. Um, I just kind of set it and slowly drop it from there. So uh, anyway, thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next Diecast Review.